Hi, I'm Brian, and in this video, I'm going to be covering some topics related to the documentation for NetBackup's role-based access control APIs. So let's get started. RBAC is built into all of NetBackup's REST APIs. This means that an API user will only be able to call those APIs that they have been given access to. You can find the access control details for each individual API by looking at its documentation. The API documentation can be found both on sort and on your local master server at this URL. The section you're going to be looking for is the access control block in the description text. The first item in the access control block is enforcement type, which has three possible values, none, API level, and object level. An enforcement type of none signifies that this is an open API that does not have any RBAC access control requirements. This does not mean that anyone can call the API without logging in. It very well may still require a valid JWT, it just doesn't have any additional RBAC constraints. The next enforcement type is API level. You can think of this as an all or nothing type of enforcement. Either you can call the API or you can't. If you can, any objects that this API acts on are going to be accessible to you. API level enforcement will always be followed by a fixed namespace in the access control block. And finally, we have object level enforcement. With this type of enforcement, your access is determined by the object you are acting on, not by the API itself. Because of this, the namespace will be dynamic rather than fixed. So to find the namespace value, you need to call a get API on the object with a meta query parameter that returns the access control ID. The details of the query parameter are listed in the namespace section of the access control block. Here's an example of the get API call with the meta query parameter and results showing the access control ID value that gets returned. So with that, you have your namespace for this object. A couple things to keep in mind with object level enforcement are that you need view privilege on the object's namespace in order to perform the get request with the meta query parameter. And secondly, inheritance can be used to simplify management of multiple objects. If you grant access to the parent namespace segment of the objects, you don't need to create access definitions for each individual object. Of course, sometimes you will need that extra level of granularity, but when you don't, inheritance can be a big help. As long as I'm talking about objects, I want to go on a little tangent and cover a few things that could be helpful to know. The first thing applies when upgrading to NetBackup 8.3. Any previously existing objects will be automatically registered with the RBAC service during the upgrade. This is a one-time import process that allows you to control access on objects that existed in your system before RBAC. The second thing relates to new NetBackup objects. Objects like assets, which can be discovered automatically, will have no access by default except by the administrator role. However, they may still be accessible if access was granted to a parent namespace segment. Objects that are created by a user, such as protection plans, are automatically configured to be accessible by the role of the user that created them. The last thing you'll see in the access control block is the list of operations that apply to this API. Many times, this will just be a single operation, but it can be a list of multiple operations. When it's a list, they default to a logical AND, meaning you need to have access to all of the operations to be able to call the API. Anything outside this norm, like a logical OR, will be explicitly listed in the documentation. When using the new NetBackup web UI, you may find that some of the namespace segments will have slightly different labels. This is done for readability in the UI. You will see both object and operation namespaces during the select permission step of adding a role. And if you hover over the labels, you will see a tooltip that gives you the full namespace value that can be used in the APIs. I hope that helps to prepare you for interpreting the role-based access control documentation. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series, and as always, you can find more detailed information in the NetBackup Web UI Administrator's Guide. Thanks for watching, everyone.